so before I met that um, that anti advocacy group, um, I was actually debating a bunch of QBs as you do, and somehow they managed to get wind that I do um, YouTube, and they went and posted one of my videos and went, oh look at this crap, look at this nonsense he's posting, and I got a bunch of hate over it, which is annoying, but basically um, my latest video wasn't getting much traction, so I went to went to a friend of mine and asked her, oh, you know, what should I, what should I do? And she said, oh, you know, there's this new group and, you know, maybe you could join that one and, you know, you'll, you'll have better luck there. You'll have more advocacy there and whatnot. But what, but what happened instead of um, support for advocacy, um, instead I got uh, more hatred in return and far worse than that of the QRBs. You know, much more worse than any, anything the QRBs have dished out. Yeah, and this is supposedly from the AS community. You know, isn't that amazing? But what bothered me the most was these supposed advocates from this uh, uh, advocacy group, in quotes. They didn't present me with a single counter-argument for any of my points. Not one single cogent argument. You know, and, and certainly nothing valid. So all, all they did basically was present a bunch of... Um, you know, slander and bullshit and in the most hateful um, fashion possible. And I'll, I'll read out some of it for you today. So Richard Johnson says, you're full of shite, Moro. This, this is you having the shits because you got booted from the group simply because you wouldn't stop being an asshole to people. You were asked uh, to stop and refused. You got booted, simple. You know, what an incredibly barefaced liar. I... It's just amazing, just the, the amount of bullshit these guys can spread, you know. Okay, here's what Richard Johnson posted, and of course, there's no asking me to stop of any kind. And of course, people can see the entire thread uh, in my previous video and see that I wasn't being an asshole at all. I'm just absolutely amazed. It's just a level of dishonesty that just absolutely beggars belief. Okay, and here Hannah Rydell says, Greeley was blowing up and wouldn't explain himself. I was just sticking up for a friend. He is no longer my friend or in the group. I really and truly thought that Greeley was blowing up uh, on us because we are hippie types, in quotes, who are actually spirituality. I misunderstood. Well, okay, here's what Greeley posted. He said, it has radically and quickly become apparent that the group will be solely devoted to woo, unscience, healing, cure, mystical nonsense. It's a bit hard to mince fucking words there. Like, you can't look at that and think, oh, he, he must mean my spirituality. I mean, come on. You, you don't expect people to buy that shit, do you? I mean, really. And you supposedly looked at that and thought that meant spirituality. You know, no, I don't buy that. And here Hunter Rydell tries to say, oh, we are, we are anti-snake oil. Okay, well, if you were anti-snake oil, then why would there be such a um, overreaction to my posting a video about um, the dangers of snake oil and quackery and woo and all that garbage? Why would there be why would you want to remove something like that from your um, from your group? Yeah, it doesn't make any any sense. And you say, oh no no, we're not we're not anti um, we're we're anti snake oil. You say, yeah, well, yeah, you describe uh, yeah something like EFT as spirituality, and then um, and then Richard Johnson he does it as well. Like he talks about. Um, my video and he says that in my video I was in quotes pissing on spirituality okay and then you have other members in the group saying stuff like oh in your video you were being mean to people with that um, uh, use EFT as a treatment and you're trying to tell me that you're you're uh, anti snake oil you know come on okay here's an entire diatribe it speaks for itself really Okay, and here's Hunter Rydell again saying, seriously, get a life. You are 
one of the only people we silenced, and with good reason you have not uncovered some conspiracy to silence people that offend me. Okay, here's a screenshot of my video being removed. And here, here we have a screenshot of another advocate's um, posts being removed. And if you look at the URLs, you'll see that they are, hmm, they're completely different. They're completely different uh, people being silenced. It's almost as if Hannah Rydell is lying. Isn't that strange? And here she says, you are not silenced. You are silenced in our group, which is a sport group, not a say false things about other uh, members in a video kind of group. Well, I didn't say any falsehoods about any other members of the group. Like, you know, everyone can see the video I made. It's, it's a public video. It's amazing. It's just absolutely amazing how uh, these people can in spite of the evidence presented to them, you know, go on you know, onto the comments section and just type out these blatant lies like this, just these amazingly barefaced lies. And then this Jason Thayer says, dude, this is pure slander, but then you're an atheist. So how would I expect you to understand morality? Well, Clearly, you don't have morality because you're um, accusing someone of uh, pure slander when they've done no such thing. So, you know, this is the sort of thing I would expect from, you know, people that basically pick and choose from the Bible or whatever religious text. Because it's ba when you look at the Bible, there's all sorts of things that contradict each other. You know, they basically you know, pick whatever morals that feel good for them. Okay, this is an interesting post from Hannah Rydell where she um, basically gloats about the group and she says, oh, hypothetically, if I did admit that I am pro snake oil and such, I could still keep the group. Yeah. What a disgusting thing to gloat about. And then she says, I am resorting to straw manning and such. Now, she didn't uh, repeat any of my arguments. So basically, she's just seen the word straw man somewhere and thought, oh, that, that must mean when, whenever someone makes an argument so weak that it blows over like a, like a, like a straw house or something. You know? And you know, this is the person saying, I don't know, I'm, I'm the real advocate. She doesn't even know what a fucking straw man argument is. You know? yeah. Let's say, for example, that... Um, you know, a QB straw man's one of your arguments. You know, what do you do about it? You know, you, you can't even recognize it, let alone refute it. You know, it's this is just ridiculous. You know, you know, how do you advocate for the AS community when you don't even know something as simple as what a fucking straw man is? And then she goes on to say, People didn't like their names being drugged through the dirt, so your video was removed. Big deal. Well, it is a big fucking deal when you uh, silence, uh, censor, and deplatform advocates that aren't doing anything wrong, that are posting you know, uh, very innocuous and benign things. You, know, you can't say, oh, it's, a, it's not a big deal when you uh, uh, trample on our rights of free speech and free expression. That's, that's absolutely ridiculous. And then without presenting any kind of cogent argument, she then declares uh, that safe spaces are just as necessary as healthy debates. Doesn't say why. And this is right, up, right after I uh, explain just how toxic these safe spaces are. And, and everyone can see for themselves the, the effect that it has on our, on our rights of free speech and free expression. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, could you imagine the state of the AS community should this uh, utter crap take hold? You know, imagine for a second that it wasn't me that was um, silenced and deplatformed, but instead a um, but instead a Kirby, right? Yeah, and imagine uh, this sort of nonsense being directed at it. Imagine how. Yeah, you know, a much of an impact that would have on advocacy. You know, 
it, it, it's just not going to work. Okay, if, if this crap takes root, you can kiss acceptance goodbye. 